How to install an EOS scale guard inline filter with your ionizer. For this demonstration, we're using a Melody 2 ionizer, but these instructions apply no matter what model you're using. This is the tube that connects to the bottom of your ionizer at the tap inlet underneath. This tube supplies the water to your ionizer. It may be connected to your diverter on your faucet, or it may be connected to your T-valve or angle stop adapter under the counter in your cold water line. For this demonstration, I will show this as it is connected to your cold water line with the T-valve. The EOS scale guard filter will be installed somewhere in this tubing line. It should be installed right before your ionizer. If you have pre-filtration, like external filters, already installed with your ionizer, the EOS will be installed between the pre-filters and your ionizer. The EOS scale guard filter is always the last filter before the water reaches your ionizer. So somewhere in this tubing line that's supplying the water, you'll find a good spot where you're going to install your EOS and you'll make a clean, straight cut in the tubing. Make sure to turn your source water off first, always before, before installing this. On the scale guard filter, there's an arrow which indicates the direction of the water flow. So, in this case, this is our tube coming from the cold water line, coming from the source water. So we will insert this end of the tube into the EOS in the direction of the arrow. This is the water coming into the EOS filter. The other tube, which is attached to your ionizer, will be installed in the other end. Make sure to press the tubing in all the way so that this is where the water comes out of the EOS and continues into your ionizer. Once the filter is installed, there's not really a need to flush this filter. So I would suggest turn your source water back on and if that's the, tea, the, the cold water line, you'll, you'll open the little valve. Or if it's connected to your faucet diverter, you'll turn on your faucet and pull the pin on your diverter. Make sure that the knob on the front of your ionizer is turned all the way to the left to the on position. And allow the water to start flowing through the ionizer. And check your connection points on the EOS on both ends for any leaks. If you do have some leaking, turn your source water back off, remove the tubing by pressing the collet while you pull the tubing out, make sure that the cut on the tubing is very straight and clean, and then reinstall the tubing, making sure that it is pressed into the filter all the way. And then turn the source water back on and test the connections again. Once your system has been tested and you have no leaks, your installation is complete and you can enjoy your water.